If you've driven Layton's Hillfield Road at rush hour, you know how slow it gets. And it isn't just Hillfield Road, all nearby roads get backed up. As the population increases in this area, things will only get worse. To understand the traffic at Hillfield Road, you have to look at all four intersections near the freeway. The intersections at Main Street and at Gordon Avenue are slower than the freeway off-ramps, but they're so close to the off-ramps that backed up vehicles at Main Street and at Gordon Avenue clog up the off-ramp intersections. And under the freeway, there's nowhere else for these vehicles to go. They're trapped. In almost no time, all four intersections are at a near standstill. It's a perfect storm. Too many vehicles passing through intersections that are too close together. Sometimes vehicles back all the way onto the freeway, creating more problems. Solving congestion like this requires innovative thinking. The ideal solution would be for both Main Street and Gordon Avenue to be farther from the freeway. While we can't physically move these streets back, we can move part of the intersection back using an innovative and proven design, the through turn. The defining characteristic of a through turn is a bulb out. A bulb out will be added here, near Gordon Avenue. Three additional bulb outs will be added near Main Street. At a through turn, instead of turning left, vehicles move toward the bulb out, where they make a U-turn, then pass through the intersection. During rush hour, left turning vehicles get backed up, clogging the intersection. A through turn moves these vehicles away from the intersection, freeing up the flow of traffic. With the intersections at Main Street and at Gordon Avenue operating smoothly again, congestion under the freeway returns to normal. In addition to adding through turns, UDOT will merge the traffic lights at the off-ramps into a single intersection under the freeway. This not only reduces the number of stoplights, but provides even more space for vehicles traveling along Hillfield Road. Computer models predict that the new through turn design will make the drive time half as long as the existing design. And in 25 years, a drive along Hillfield Road will take one fourth as long as it would have been otherwise. This is great news for Leighton drivers and Leighton businesses. So if you're on Hillfield Road and want to make a left to head south on Main Street, just remember to make a through turn. Drive straight through the intersection, then make a U-turn, followed by a right turn. New signs will help drivers navigate each through turn. They instruct drivers to go through the intersection, then make a U-turn and head back to the intersection. Cars traveling straight may need to stop at a new light so left turning cars can make their U-turn. A through turn under the freeway isn't practical, so if you're heading east on Hillfield Road and need to make a left to head north on Main, reverse the order. Make a right turn, followed by a U-turn, then drive straight through. Computer models predict that getting onto I-15 will take significantly less time even with the extra distance that you travel with a through turn. For vehicles on Hillfield Road, the intersection at Gordon Avenue won't change much. If you're coming from the freeway, you can still make a left turn to go toward the mall. But if you're on Gordon Avenue and want to make a left toward the freeway, make a right onto Hillfield Road, a U-turn at the new bulb out, and drive straight through. Crossing Hillfield Road at Gordon Avenue has been eliminated, so if you want to head toward the mall, take a right. Then either turn at the bulb out or take a right at the main intersection and head to the mall. If you want to head north on Hillfield Road, rather than taking a left at Gordon Avenue, follow Ring Road to 1225 North and take a left. Introducing through turns to Hillfield Road in Layton keeps congestion away from Main Street and from Gordon Avenue. This keeps traffic flowing, prevents backing up, and ultimately benefits Layton businesses and drivers now and in the future. One more example of how UDOT and Layton City keep you moving.